All right, this is Mrs. Osier. And Ms. Perrier. And we are going through what you missed if you missed the start of the animation project. So you should have this from us. And basically, you're creating your own animation, your own story, and you're going to go viral, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, and we're doing this all to learn transformations. This is the beginning of it, so don't get too, too creative yet. Like, absolutely let your creativity show, but realize that everything right now is just kind of a quick idea eventually you'll be able to have a more well thought out idea. So your name goes here and then choose a name for your character. So uh, Miss Perrier and I, we picked Transformer Girl because we're doing transformations. So why not? And again, don't overthink it. Like if you just want to pick yourself as the character, pick yourself. Like, Yeah, if you want to pick a character you already know, go ahead. These aren't getting posted publicly. It's not copyright infringement. We're good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then other supporting characters or antagonists. Uh, who should be in our story? Didn't we have it as... It'll be us. us. Perfect. Yes. So, Mrs. Osier and Miss Perrier. And that's exactly what we're talking about. You just say, like, okay, who else should be in it? Boom, that's who should be in it. Okay. But remember, though, your character is the only character that you are transforming here. You're not transforming the other characters. Correct. Eventually, we'll do something where we transform all sorts of stuff. But right now, we're just focusing on her. So, Transformer Girl comes to math class to have fun. That's the basic of the story. That's what's going to happen. Comes to math class to have fun. Then again, you don't need your whole entire story planned out. You just need the gist, just the start of it written down. Yep, because we're going to have to kind of roll with the punches as we work through this whole thing. And what does your character look like? Okay, so she's going to be made of a triangle. And it definitely has a pie symbol on it. And she's going to have a face. And she's definitely happy, so she's smiling. And she's got this cute little pixie haircut. And she's got some legs and some feet, some arms. Now again, we are not testing your artistic ability. If you're like, oh my gosh, Mrs. Osier, that drawing, hmm. Or Miss Perrier, that drawing, hmm. Do not, just, we're doing the best we can, okay? Now, if you want to get more into it, feel free to. But again, remember, everything right now is a rough draft, so don't spend too much time with that. And again, the main focus isn't the character. It's moving, it is the character, but you need to move the character. So yes. don't make it so elaborate that you can't, it's taking you 20 minutes to draw each of the characters every time. Now we're going to move on to the graph. That's as we went in class. So the only thing you have to do next is to make a decision of where your character is going to start on your graph or, and this is probably what I would recommend if you've missed class, get a pre-filled in sheet from myself or Miss Perrier. Okay, so let's go through. Um, I'm gonna, because we don't wanna obviously do these ones for you, I'm gonna make up some new ones, but you do have ones that are already done. Okay, so let's say you need three points. So let's put her um, up here, so four, zero four okay then i'm gonna go here to negative one three and positive one three so basically that's that triangle that's her body and now i'm just kind of doing the picture of her the best i can remember we're just sketching and doing our best to kind of keep that going as best as possible okay so now what you will do is you will record those three. Yeah. So the word start goes down here because this is your start. starting location. And then label those points. So we'll label just them A, B, C. So A, a is at zero, four. B is going to be this left one. So it's at negative one, three. And then C is the right one. So that's at positive one, positive three. You are then going to make a story and pick like a way she's going to start. So maybe she's here smiling as can be with her beautiful pixie haircut. I'm only using one hand right now, so just for the record, it's not the greatest, but it doesn't have to be the greatest again, okay? So there she is, and then maybe up here I say something like, Transformer Girl is arriving to teach some tricks, you know, and that goes here. You're just telling us where your story's starting. This is a rough draft. You will get time to work on this and make it look better, but each day as we go, it's a rough idea of what you're gonna do, and then eventually you'll make it better. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you missed if you missed the first two lessons of the project.